Okay, so um, we already created an animation instance, uh, this one. And uh, right now we can add some animation for our character. So uh, let's create a, a state. So we uh, can create a new state machine. And there, uh, here, let's uh, uh, rename like a uh, idle uh, walk. Well, because I'm going to create uh, the idle uh, animation and walk animation and the run animation inside this state machine. So uh, this state machine will output the final uh, animation and uh, we connect to our output pause. So the character can play the animation we want uh, in the game. So let's implement the detail. So here uh, we try to use, um, here we can uh, add lots of a state, but since we call this idle walk around, so here I create a, a state also called idle walk round, okay? So um, into this node, basically I would like to create a, a animation blend 1D and uh, let this blending uh, animation to help us to uh, generate the animation output. So before that, like I said, we need a, a animation blender 1D. So let's create create a uh, one. So here, back to our animation folder, uh, we create an animation one D. Uh, blend where is it? Okay, blend space one D. And uh, we are using uh, Mordock Scalenter, and uh, let's uh, we. I want to blend. I want to use this blend space to handle the. Uh, uh, idle walk and run. So uh, the name will be idle walk run. Okay, and uh, double click it. So the blend one D means uh, we have a one dimension table can control our animation, can control the blending level of our animation. So uh, here right now is none. So if we go into the horizontal axis, we can change the speed. When the speed goes up, we need to play the running animation. When speed uh, becomes zero, we want to play the idle animation. But here uh, we can set the maximum value. So let's say we set three, 350. So you can see here right now, it becomes 350. This is our speed. Okay, by the way, if you go back to our character uh, blueprint, uh, if you click the uh, movement component, if you search your speed, here you can see the default maximum walk speed is 600. So, but right now uh, we just use the 350. So after the 350 to 600, uh, we will use the same animation. So here, uh, after that, we need to pick which animation we want to play in certain um, speed number. So for example, we want to uh, use like a idle, let's search idle, and uh, a loop, let's double click. Okay, he's breathing. And uh, okay, we can use this for idle. So we go back to our uh, uh, Blender, we use the idle A loops. And uh, I will press the shift. I will drag it and press the shift. It will stick on the uh, node. You see there's a small gray dot and a release. Okay, so which means when the speed is zero, uh, system will play the idle loop. 
So now, when speed go up, uh, we want to play the walk, right? So let's find a walk. Walk forward. Okay. So we want to play walk forward. Press shift, and it will stick uh, in the correct uh, place. And uh, you can see, and there's a green dot. You can press shift. You press shift and hold on, hold the shift, and then you just move the mouse, and uh, you can show uh, the blender result on the screen. You can see when we uh, when the green dot going to zero, and then you play the uh, idle animation, and when the dot keep going right, which means speed keep going up, you will play the uh, walk animation. Okay, so the last one is wrong. So we find the wrong forward and press shift, and we it will stick at the right, right place. And uh, again, you press shift again, but just hold on and not release your shift and move your mouth. You can see the result. Okay, now. This Blender 1D will help us blending uh, these three in animation depends on what the speed. Okay, let's save it. So back to our animation. So here, again, this is a final pose and uh, we have an idle walk round. And here, this is a state idle walk round. And uh, what we, are, we want to play, we want to Play not just one animation here. We want to play the blender we just created. So we drag this one, and then we already know the speed will help us to decide which, what kind of animation uh, we want, right? Maybe it's just blending between the idle and walk, but this blend space will help us to handle it. So we don't have to worry about it. So we connect that, and then of course we need to connect the speed from uh, our code. So get speed. Okay, so the speed connect. So this get speed is from our code and which means this speed, no, uh, this one, this speed will be update every frame right here, we update here. Okay, so uh, when the speed change, the blend, uh, space will change and uh, you will output the suitable animation and uh, of course uh, It will up to output the animation to the uh, final pose. So let's compile it Okay, then we can take a try make sure we save in everything right? uh, We need to set uh, this animation uh, Blueprint in our character uh, BP. So go to your K character BP and uh, I press mesh. And you can see here uh, it said animation mode is using using animation BP and uh, we need to select one. So we just select the one uh, we create K animation BP and uh, compile. Okay, so uh, we take a try. So yeah, now uh, it works, right? When I press the uh, W to move forward and stop, forward and stop, and I'm moving uh, my mouse, okay, stop. And press back, stop, okay. And left and right is still playing the uh, uh, walk, um, uh, idle walk round animation because this animation we we see right now is from the uh, blending space, right? So right now we only have three uh, blending result, but uh, you get the idea. Now, um, yeah, our uh, anim animation BB works. Okay, so uh, next we will uh, finish the rest animation. Okay, cool.